Oh, I do apologize. Am I disturbing you? No, please. Do come in, Mrs. My name is Miss Alice de Bouvier. I'm Mr. Holmes' new neighbor. Oh, I didn't have the pleasure to... Uh, I am Dr. John Watson. Could we provide you with any assistance? Oh, she is not the concern, Watson. I'm... <laughs> then, what is this about? Oh, that child standing sniffling behind her. Get rid of him, Watson. But he is shivering with cold. And he is upset. What happened to him? Little Tom knocked at the wrong door. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, boy, come in. Warm yourself by the fire. Can I offer you a cup of tea, Miss de Bouvier? Well, I... It is not as though we are disturbing you-know-who, are we? I suppose not. Since you are our new neighbor, it is perhaps better that you know what he's like. You're starting to worry me. Well, Mr. Holmes is relapsing. His illness that he has seizes him when he finds himself with nothing to do. He becomes completely asocial. And alas, this is a very difficult, medically incurable case. Now this must stay between us. Of course, I understand. How very sad. But there is a cure, if only a temporary one. A thrilling inquiry. Most certainly. If he refuses this one, then his condition will worsen. Oh, I am still here, you know. I didn't fall out of the window. Very well, then. Thank you, miss. Now tell me, boy, what brings you here? It's... it's my father, sir. He's missing. I... I don't know what to do. What's his name? George Hurst, sir. Missing, eh? And what do the police say? The police? They don't bring... And when was the last time you saw him? Three weeks ago. He left for a new job. But this time, getting a bit strange and angry. Three weeks? That's a long time. Well, every day I thought he would show up. And anyway, I can look after myself. 
What were you thinking? You and your father are both at risk. You should have come to me much earlier. I was afraid. I ain't got no... And I've got no other place to go. If our landlord finds out that father left me, he'll throw me out on the street. Tom, you've been very resourceful. We shall be discreet. If only my mother was still here. Strange. In what way? He said to me, Son, I'm out on a special job. Don't you dare move from here. I think something went wrong. Very well. Your address, please, Tom. 12 Dorset Street. The first floor, door E. It's in Whitechapel, sir. But I ain't got no money to pay. Who asked for money, Tom? Your case seems to be the very medicine I need. I'll meet you there shortly. Oh, thank you, sir. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. We need to help Tom find his father, Holmes. A map of London and its surroundings. Could be useful. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Watson documents our adventures in here. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire.
These streets are too narrow for the cab. I'll have to walk. Sorry, I'm working. I can't open the door. Dorset Street. I don't feel thirsty right now. I don't open the door to strangers. This is our home, Mr. Holmes. Please, sir, find my father. A collection of worn out and second hand books. George Hurst was providing his son with the best education that he could afford. Father bought all those books for me. He didn't tell me, but I. Food's running low. It's already three weeks since George Hurst's disappearance. Well, I can see the preparations for peasant soup, a clever concoction for somebody with apparently no culinary skills. Hurst covered his bills ahead of time, thus providing Tom with security. My mother, sir, she died when I was very young. My father told me what... I'm sorry, Tom. My mother left me when I was very young, too. The roof leaks all the time. Father used to fix it. It's too dark. I can't see anything.
Huh. So that's why you came to see me. Old clothes, soiled and worn. Just some old things. A leather satchel, what's in it? Please, sir, find my father. I don't feel thirsty right now. Please, sir, find my father.
I don't feel thirsty right now. Glue. Good day, Mr. Holmes. Well, if it isn't young Wiggins. And I see you found yourself a job. If you can call it that. I hate it. But if, if you've got any proper work for me... I just might be in need of your assistance later. Wait here. I need to earwig to find out who is offering this special job. Special jobs. He never drinks alcohol. There's no one to eavesdrop on from here. The child labor law sent your kids to school instead of the coal mine. Equality for the working class. I'm glad I'm my own boss. I can complain only to myself. Or to Watson. <laughs> the man who's offering that special job has a proper set of mutton chop whiskers. So, the man I'm looking for has whiskers and never drinks alcohol. It's not him. The child labor law sent your kids to school instead of the coal mine. This must be the man that I'm looking for.
Interesting. A missing person. I should find out more. The longer the picket line, the shorter the strike! You see that gentleman? I need you to follow him and report back to me. All right, Mr. Holmes. Chapel never changes. Dirt and beggars everywhere. Won't let me pass. I'll need to find another way. Oi, you little pickpocket! Get away from here! Rich folk feed meat to their dogs. Oh, I've lost too him. much these. 